good morning and welcome to a condensed version of one of my videos. Here I am on YouTube promoting my Patreon site. So it's Gary here and what you're looking at is a 6x9 sheet of uh, Arsh's 140 pound paper. I've got it taped off in that way because I wanted to restrict myself and have a truly horizontal uh, landscape type, um, uh, let's just call it an illustration. So I put some tape across there to limit me from wandering too high and making my drawing too tall. So this is a really simple design. Um, I'm looking for composition here. I got my building a little off to the right and I have the six trees all sized um, to make the image, well, appealing, hopefully. I mentioned that I'm going with a limited palette here. So uh, top right is a live shot of my palette. And it's probably as clean as you'll ever see it. Uh, what I'm using up there is some cadmium yellow for the base of the trees. And this exercise, I just wanted to fool around with paints. I'm going to leave the sky white. So I'm just fooling around with the paints and see how they react together. I had a new color tossed into the fray there, the uh, undersea green. So um, anyway, the base of the trees is a uh, cadmium yellow. I'm putting in some sap green and a um, bit of burnt sienna. Now I'm going for some more green up there and I'm changing the colors. Each tree is slightly different in color. I wanted to keep them soft. Um, but again, until it dries, I don't know where they're going to be. So while I'm filling in my trees, now I dropped, I used some orange there, some cadmium orange hue. Again, fooling around with colors to see what they do on the paper. And I'm not over painting it. As you can see, the, um, the paint is pooled quite a bit. And um, by the way, I apologize for the lighting. It was a um, rainy day. And the, I have a light off to the side there, and that's uh, why you got that big glare on the paint. Normally I don't have that, but um, when it dries up, it'll be a little easier to see. So dabbing away here, um, I actually put some water in that tree in the left, put some water in to uh, create some cauliflowers to see, um, see how it would look. Again, it's just a practice piece. And I wanted to see how my paints would work out. Just having a bit of fun. This whole thing, uh, by the way, the whole painting probably took about, from drawing to the very end, probably took about, I don't know, 40, 45 minutes. So base, the, uh, the ground, the foreground, is a combination of cadmium yellow and sap greens. Dropping a bit of ultramarine underneath the trees uh, to indicate some form of shadow from the tree. It kind of ran a little too much on me, but uh, eh, not a big deal. Again, it's just a practice thing. So I wanted to put this little video on uh, YouTube. Um, it's a shameless attempt at uh, self-promotion once again, trying to get uh, folks to come on over and join the Patreon and see some longer format videos with um, uh, obviously more more description of colors and brushes and thinking and all that sort of stuff. Now my roof here is uh, using a big brush there. What have I got? 10 or 12 going. This is a combination of um, burnt sienna and red with a little bit of cadmium yellow at the top there to uh, lighten the top. As you can see from the, or as you saw from the picture at the start, this will be a line and wash. In this case, I decided to fool around with the colors and then I'm gonna do the inking afterwards. Often the uh, paint will uh, provide some interesting lines and sometimes you can just trace around them, sometimes you skip around them. It actually makes inking for me a little bit easier rather than trying to paint inside the lines. But uh, in saying that, that I often will do an ink drawing 
and add paint to it. So here we go with the ink portion of it. I've sped this up substantially, by the way, just to make it a little more digestible and a little easier to watch. Now my comment with this, I had um, wanted to use a thinner pen. I was going to use a Rotring uh, much thinner, which would have much lighter lines. Uh, but to be brutally honest with you, I didn't feel like putting ink in it. And often the um, with those really fine nibs on this rough paper, uh, they don't tend to work all that well. So I'm going with this Lame pen uh, Safari, and it's got a medium nib. And... Um, the lines are a little bit darker than what I would have wanted. But again, we're just practicing here. I used ultramarine for the shadows. They kind of show up night when you're when you're not using a uh, any sky in particular in the background. Um, this is kind of like an illustration. So the uh, the ultramarine blue for the shadow under the uh, under the roof there and on the outhouse looks um, I think it looks pretty sharp. Seeing as the scene was so simple, I um, also decided to put a tile roof on this. Now, why this person in the middle of nowhere would have a tile roof, I don't know, but I'm going with it. See, with the trees, the way the paint went, I more or less just traced around the way the paint kind of ran out into the little uh, cracks and crevices of the rough paper. And it does make for interesting lines. There it is. Please like and subscribe. So, please like and subscribe. That would be awesome if you could join this. And at the end, I'll put up my uh, the link for the uh, Patreon page or site. So that's essentially it, folks. That's a really simple little design. A little bit of fun. Play with my paints. Signature. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll come over and join us on Patreon. Where you can get some longer videos. Thanks again. And we'll see you soon.